Hey, it's Matt Ryan, and we are inside the 94 Through the Point studios. I am here with Emily Adams, and let me tell you something. Um, I have a really good friend who said, there is a girl that you have to meet who is so passionate about her cause, and I got in touch with Emily, and my friend couldn't have been more correct. Uh, Emily, thank you, thank you so much for being here. And, um, thank you. We have the uh, Great Strides CF Walk coming up, and tell us more about cystic fibrosis in general. Well, cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that is incurable. So right now there's no cure for CF, and the only way that there might be a cure one day is through donations, because it is not government funded, any of the research that's done. So every day I have to do breathing treatments to try to basically counteract my lungs from filling with mucus that's really hard to get out. So the mucus that I create is really thick. Um, hard to bring up, so I do breathing treatments and, you know, lung exercises every day to try to maintain my health. And you told me that through all of this funding, uh, recently they've made some discoveries and they've made some advances with medicine, right? They have. Um, recently, actually yesterday, which is really big news, there's a new drug that the FDA just approved. I think they're waiting on the final say for July. That's actually for my mutation for wow. the double double delta F five oh eight. Um it's called Orcombi. Okay. So supposedly it is gonna be amazing. I don't know, I haven't been in the studies, but mm -hmm. supposedly it's gonna be amazing. So hopefully that'll work out and maybe it'll be affordable. Hopefully. Yeah, and you know and but that's why we do all of this fundraising and yeah. this is a perfect example if if these walks weren't happening, um and if you weren't doing what you're doing with your team uh, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, none of it would be possible. So uh, the walk, the Great Strides Walk is happening this Sunday in Point Pleasant Beach. Emily's yeah. Euphoria is the name of your team. It's yeah. 60 strong, it is which is amazing. Yeah, a little over, I think. Um, and so when was your first walk? When did you start doing this? Well, I did the Great Strides Walks as a kid. Um, my family always did them. Uh, we weren't like crazy into the fundraising or anything, but we all we always went. And then when I was like, you know, Late teens, early twenties, I, I didn't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was rebellious. Didn't want to. <laughs> didn't want to go do the walk. But um, last year actually was my first year back, and we, you know, I brought my team. I had like thirty something people walking with me, and we raised I think just over six thousand last year. Awesome. So first year out raising that was amazing, and I was ready to come back even harder this year and hopefully raise more than that this year. Definitely, <laughs> and to support your team, where can people go? Um, you can go to Fight CF. Dot org. Mm -hmm. um, you can search um, Team Emily's Euphoria, or I think you can. I can give you like the actual link where people can go and. Perfect. That will go right to my team, and you can donate to either myself or anybody that's on my team that you want to help out. Right on. And Emily's in a book too, featured in a I book. Am. Tell us about this book. It's so cool. <laughs> um, I'm in the book called Just Breathe: Adults with Cystic Fibrosis by a photographer named Ian Pettigrew, who actually has CF as well. And it features 92 of us from the U.S. and Canada that are all living with CF. Some of us are, you know, have had transplants. Some are waiting on transplants. Some are, you know, fairly healthy, like myself. And we all got to write our stories. Mm -hmm. And it was really amazing to be involved in. And, and with this book, you, you really, you bear it all in, the, in this yeah. book. You know, and yeah, I think we that really showed, showed our stories yeah. and our, you know, past and our problems and our you know, griefs, and right. it was amazing to have so many people open about the disease that so many people don't know about. Right, and as if Emily couldn't get any more amazing, she's got another project, <laughs> and that's the Salty Girls Project. Tell yes. us more about that. The Salty Girls Project is going to be another one, two, I think two books that Ian's going to be doing as mm -hmm. well, and it features all women. I think we range in age from like about 20 to 40, and, you know, we're all posing, you know, bearing our bodies. So wearing, you know, bathing suits or, you know, bras and underwear or just mm -hmm. like a cute little outfit. Anything that you feel like you wanted to show your body. And mm -hmm. all these women are showing their scars and their feeding tubes and their lung transplant scars or liver transplant scars. And it's just so amazing to see because... There's so many people with CF that don't feel good about their bodies right. because of all those things, and it really is empowering women all over the place, not even just CF people. Sure, sure. And your uh, Facebook page is Emily's Euphoria. If you search for that on Facebook, you can find info on all of these projects. I'm going to be on Emily's team. I was so proud and happy to get this. Yay. So here's my T-shirt. <laughs> I will be at the walk on Sunday representing, and uh, 
Can't wait for it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing Thank what you, you do. You are nonstop uh, fighting the good cause, and I think that's so admirable. And uh, the Jersey Shore loves you. Thanks. I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> it's Matt Ryan, and that's Emily. We'll see you Sunday at the walk.